Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell. I do drop new content on this channel every single day. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. Friday, April 30th, HCMC, you guys, healthier choices management, up to 0.0022, up 25.7% right now at the time of this video, you guys. And it's really, really good to see. Just wanted to go over a few things, you guys, in relation to HCMC. A lot of people online talking about May 3rd being HCMC day, talking about potential short squeeze, talking about a lot of different things here. So I just want to quickly, quickly get into it. And yeah, I don't want to waste anyone's time. If you do know about HCMC, you're probably watching this video. I don't really want to get into what HCMC is or what they're doing or what they have going on really too much. But they do have a patent infringement lawsuit with Philip against Philip Morris biggest tobacco one of the biggest tobacco companies in the world and i'm sure if you're watching this video you are well familiar with that so let's just get right into it you guys first bit of things i want to talk about is number one hcmc the community hcmc army everyone involved with hcmc very very strong continuing to get stronger here you guys 50 most searched stocks in the last 72 hours you can see hc this is on tuesday april 27th hcmc boom in you guys look at i mean these are all otc stocks Sundial Growers down here, Ocugen right here, but HCMC, you guys, everyone seems to be getting interested in HCMC and what is going on here with Healthier Choices Management, popularity, most search stocks, been going crazy. Also, stock twits, look at this, 8.1k members, look at HCMC on social, their group, community, stock twits, the biggest, penny stocks, bigger than Coinbase, bigger than Tesla, bigger than Neo, bigger than Dividends, bigger than Palantir. Bigger than GameStop, you guys. 8.1K members and growing very, very strong. Also, something I did want to mention too that I find extremely, extremely interesting. Philip Morris, CEO, sells $1.9 million in stock, which is probably not that much, um, I guess, of what he probably has. But you can see here, Philip Morris International CEO, Martin G. King, sold 21000 shares of the business's stock in a transaction dated Tuesday, April 27th. The stock was sold at an average price of $94.51 for a total value of $1.9 million. The sale was disclosed in a filing with the SEC, which is available through this link. Click on the link. You can see here, Statement of Changes in Beneficial Ownership, Martin G. King, Phil Morris International. And yeah, so he sold 21,000 shares, right? And I mean, if you are interested in HCMC and the patent infringement lawsuit they have going on, this has to be somewhat interesting, um, you know, bit of news. Definitely take it with a grain of salt. But definitely, nonetheless, you guys, something very, very interesting here. Like I've said before, I think Phil Moore is getting kind of scared about what's going on. And if the judge, we're all waiting for the judge's decision, whether he or she, you know, which side he agrees with. And if it's going to go, if this case is going to go to discovery. Because as many of you know, how I feel about this is that if this does go to discovery, we are going to see HCMC really just lay out the pure hard facts. And it's going to be tough for Philip Morris to overcome that if it does get to that point. So I'm thinking here with the CEO selling 21,000 shares, obviously he probably has way more shares than just 21,000. But nonetheless, something very, very interesting here. If you are a holder of HCMC, straight off the bat just because of the relationship with Philip Morris and HCMC and the patent infringement lawsuit. <clears throat> so also too, just a couple of housekeeping things as well. HCMC does have now have an Instagram, um, something that's, you know, been been waiting for for quite a bit of time now. So you can see HCMC did launch their Twitter back on March 8th and now they have Instagram and they have other social media platforms. So things like this, you guys, very, very encouraging to see. And the community continues, continues to grow here. HCMC, you guys, I mean, they haven't dropped a news article or press release for about 10 days or so ever since the direct rights offering that they did announce. And again, my opinion is if you are a HCMC holder, definitely want to take part in that. Again, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Please do your own research and invest your money at your own risk. But yeah, just wanted to go over these things, you guys. HCMC up 25% today. We haven't seen this price in quite some time. If you take a look here at the six month chart, you can see back on February 16th was 0 0.0054 and has since leveled off, right? We haven't been, it's, it's been about two months, right? Two, almost two and a half months since we've been at this price that we are today. Very, very refreshing to see everyone online talking about May 3rd, May 3rd, May 3rd, 
HCMC day. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that is really going to pop off on May 3rd. Again, everyone thought back uh, when the judge, I mean, the last doc court documents came out, which I did make a video on. Go check that out. But ever since that day, everyone's been talking <clears throat> about waiting for the judge's decision. And then now May 3rd is circulating online about HCMC day, HCMC day. So let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about that. Let me know in your comments below also how you guys feel about Philip Morris CEO selling $1.9 million worth of stock. And just let me know how you guys are feeling about HCMC, right? Holding strong, long-term hold here. Always been a long-term hold. We continue to hold HCMC. So let's get after it. Let me know in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And as always, you guys have a great day.